Now the abdominal cramps are heat cramps, you know, so the heat cramps are intermittent involuntary spasm of uh, larger in, uh, muscles that occur in, the, in, uh, in an individual who is physically active uh, in uh, hot weather, you know. So the heat cramps, uh, heat exhaustion or heat stroke are collectively known as heat related illness, you know. So the heat cramps are the least serious uh, of the three, you know, but still may be very painful and alarming, you know. So the heat cramps usually affect the major muscles uh, that are being stressed uh, in a hot environment. And so the individuals at risk of heat cramps include those who work, exercise or um, active in hot environment, you know. So individuals with impaired uh, temperature control mechanisms such as infants, uh, young children, you know, uh, and uh, the elderly and also uh, they are at great risk of heat cramps you know so the heat cramps are the earliest symptoms of a heat related illness you know so the symptoms of heat cramp include uh, profuse sweating with the involuntary spasm of uh, the large muscles uh, in the body you know so heat cramps also um, may be symptom of heat exhaustion you know? So diagnosis of heat cramps is usually made by reviewing the patient's history and uh, identifying the muscle groups that are uh, involuntary in spasm, you know. So treatment of heat cramps uh, include rest, uh, cooling the body, hydration and uh, stretching the muscles that are cramping. So heat cramps can be prevented by avoiding the exercise or work during the heat of, uh, times of the day, you know. And drinking plenty of fluids uh, and um, uh, resting in cool and shaded areas when possible you know and uh, please uh, do not uh, forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos every day thank you